This summer, I backpacked Asia with two of my friends for two and a half months. We went everywhere from the coasts of Vietnam to the mountains of the Tibetan region. I learned a lot, and I especially learned a lot about packing. And so this video is gonna be about what I packed, what I wish I maybe would have packed, and what I could probably live without. Hello and welcome to Unbeaten Travel. My name is Morgan, and let's get into it. In order to pack, you need bags. To start, I had two main backpacks. I had a 50 liter main bag and a packable 10 liter day bag. For clothes, I packed four t-shirts, one long sleeve shirt, one puffy coat, one rain shell, four shorts, three that you could swim in, one that was pretty normal, one pair of pants, four pairs of underwear, five pairs of socks, four normal socks and one wool pair, and two pairs of shoes, some sneakers and some sandals. The accessories I commonly used were a hat, a belt, sunglasses, which I broke so early on in the trip, it was so sad, and a belt loop wallet. For toiletries, I had shower supplies, contact supplies, toilet paper, which is a must. You should definitely always have a toilet paper roll. It helps in so many occasions. Sunscreen, solid detergent, first aid kit, and other normal essentials like a toothbrush and ibuprofen and stuff. For electronics, I had my phone, batteries, earbuds, adapter, cords, <laughs> you name it. For camera gear, I had my camera, the A6500, three lenses, uh, a gorilla pod, and the other various stuff you need like SD cards and cleaning gear. I also brought some other equipment, including a headlamp, a leatherman, a lighter, two locks, a UV water purifier, um, a water bottle, a camelback, and a sleeping bag liner. There were other small things here and there that included a pencil, a pen, a sketchbook, a journal, and a hammock. Now that we've gone over what I had, let's talk about the things that I might have changed. So there weren't too many things that I wish I had on the trip that I didn't already bring. A couple things that would have been nice include uh, a glass cleaner. I wear my glasses quite a bit on the trip and I would have loved to be able to wash them better. I was wearing a lot of synthetic fabrics and so I couldn't wipe my lenses off very well. Maybe a little contradictory, but the second thing I wish I had was more synthetic fabric clothing. While not good at cleaning glass, it was so much better at temperature regulation, especially in the hottest, most humid environments. Some of the cotton stuff I had was just way too hot. I also wish I had brought more flexible, lightweight shorts. Some of the shorts I had were very stiff and um, they held me back in some cases because there was so much hiking and there was so much walking on the trip. The one thing I was sort of wishing I had the whole time was a pair of noise canceling headphones. It makes flights so much more pleasant and other forms of public transportation. So in the future, I might invest in a pair of noise canceling earbuds for the portability and for the noise canceling. The one pretty common item that I didn't end up bringing is a normal sweater or a sweatshirt. My rationale behind it is that I could layer my long sleeve shirt, my puffy and my outer jacket in any order to keep myself warm. But in the end, I think I would switch over to a sweatshirt. In some cases, my long sleeve shirt wasn't quite warm enough, but then adding a puffy got too hot. Having a slightly warmer middle layer would have helped with that scenario. There were a few things I could have lived without. Um, one of those being those cotton clothes that I mentioned earlier for being too warm. If they were replaced with other synthetic clothing, I would have had maybe a slightly lighter load, slightly faster drying times, but more than anything, that temperature regulation would have been so nice. The biggest thing that I probably didn't need to bring was my hammock. I actually didn't take it out of my bag once, <laughs> and I guess I never learned because I since brought it on another trip, and I didn't bring it out then either. So it's just been sitting in my bag for multiple trips. The water bladder that I brought was nice sometimes, but I didn't use it all that often. And so I think next time I just wouldn't bring it. The Leatherman that I brought was something that I also didn't really use and it almost got taken from me at security in China at different train stations. So I think to avoid getting something like that taken from me and because I didn't use it very often, I probably won't bring a Leatherman next time I travel. 
One item that I'm conflicted about having brought is my sleeping bag liner. The place that I used it the most was in airports. When we had to spend the night because we had an early flight that we couldn't get transportation to, I would use that to sleep and it was incredibly cozy. I think I'll bring it again to test it more and decide if I really like it. The things that I'm most glad that I brought were my first aid kit and ibuprofen. I'd say about a week in, I actually cut my heel open, like the bottom of my foot, and they were lifesavers. Maybe not literally but they helped me a lot. I bought only a couple things on my trip, a tech fabric shirt for the temperature regulation that I mentioned earlier, and shorts for the same reason. I think it was a very successful trip and I was glad that I had most of the things that I did. So thank you so much for watching. I learned so much about what I need and what I don't need to pack while traveling and I hope you gleaned something from it as well. I'll be doing more videos based on my Asia trip and future adventures. So if you wanna follow along, please subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna get notified. But um, that's been it, so I'll see you next time.